on, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the next episode of our motorcycle build. So as you can see, I've done quite a lot to it. I also purchased a brake caliper as well as a disc brake. So that's going to be going on this rear jack shaft like so, something like that. And then it'll be operated by a foot pedal. I really like the, uh, the look of this bike now. It looks like a legitimate motorcycle. So I'm thinking in this episode, we'll be getting the torque converter on and then also perhaps the disc brake all set up as well. And then maybe we can take it for a test drive. But first let's check out that torque converter. So here we have it guys. Like I mentioned in the previous part, what we will have to do is grind down this tapered shaft so that it's one uniform thickness throughout. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna turn on the engine, rev it up just a little bit, get the grinder and just kind of make passes this way. Well guys, this is what we call an epic fail. The shaft now looks like a granny's finger. The reason you, you have to machine it, you have a machine do this, is because uh, you can't apply a constant pressure with the grinder. You'll go into the grind, you know, with pressure, and that's only on one side of the rotation. And just like that, through the power of movie magic, we have a torque converter on our V-Twin. If you guys want to see more of how I did this, be sure to check out the community tab on my channel and I'll post some pictures of what I did to get this bad boy on there. So be sure to uh, make a few clicks, go over there and check it out. So as you can see, I actually had to space this out about an inch with some rag joints, mostly because of issues with the new shaft. And usually this whole section right here is against the crankcase cover of the engine that it's mounted to. In this case, it's not. And that makes it kind of susceptible to this kind of movement that way. And it could potentially break this in half. I need to make a mount on this side of the torque converter to alleviate some of that pressure going this way, and that'll strengthen it up quite a bit. Oh God! So let's knock that out. Real quick. It's kind of at a good stopping point, so let me show you what I have done so far. So pretty much I kind of had to rehaul and redo the entire jack shaft system, mostly because these were originally right here and the chain wouldn't have been able to wrap around because there was that bearing in the way. Since I moved this bearing over this way, it tightened the chain so I needed a smaller sprocket. I put a smaller sprocket on there, welded it to a different sprocket just so I could fit it on the shaft. And on the bottom side of our torque converter, as you can see, we have, we have a little flange mount thing right here and that's going to make it so it's a lot lot harder for any damage to occur on this torque converter. Moving on, I went and welded just a uh, flat stock along here just to make it get more of like a housing for the, the bearings and uh, I'll go all the way around. Coming to the other side, I did the same thing, but in this case, since there's probably about three millimeters of clearance from the engine to this bearing, I actually had to make it so a bolt goes all the way through so that I can actually take this bearing off without having to take the entire motor off. But in the end guys, I think it's gonna work out just fine. All I need to do now is key everything up, 
Make sure everything's nice and tight. Then put on that disc brake on the other side and we should be good to get a test drive out of it. I just keyed everything up, lined up the uh, torque converter just as much as I wanted to. Now I think it's ready to start up. Well guys, uh, couldn't quite get to a test drive, uh, there's just too many things that I have to adjust, such as the chain, it kind of kept uh, jumping on me, so I still got to do some adjustments, but uh, I think once that thing is all tuned up, it's going to be pretty sweet, so keep watching, uh, be sure to subscribe, like, do all that good stuff, alright guys, Merry Christmas, see you later.